guys so welcome to our first cracker from our channel kota so in this video you will be concentrating on the infosys recruitment pattern from this year usually companies like infosys will be coming to campus placements and recruiting the students from all over the country so from this year infosys has changed the pattern and is conducting the infosys infitq certification exam so it is the place where you will be writing the certification exam in the first turn and then you will be attending the interview so actually this uh, infosys certification exam to open is open to students for all over the country and uh, you should be able to register uh, for this infosys certification exam from the infitq app so uh, then uh, you should be regularly be monitoring the infitq app as the infosys will open the slots uh, all over the country at the various cities so actually uh, if uh, you are from a registered uh, college for infosys then infosys will send a notification for your training and placement officer that the slots will be opened on that particular day so you should be monitoring it and then uh, when the slots are being opened then um, you should be able to book the slots for the particular city what you like then after booking the slot uh, you will be entry, uh, you will be going to the examination center as the infosys will send you a couple of mails regarding the information regarding where uh, you will be attending the certification exam and so on so uh, actually this process of recruitment will be consisting of two rounds and first round is the certification exam so this certification exam actually consists of two parts so for for the coming the first part this first part will be consisting of choose the correct answers so this choose the correct answers will account for 30 marks so there are various concepts that you have to be learning to solve this certification exam so the first and foremost and the most important concept that you should be covering is python programming language so uh, choose the correct answers will be consisting of various concepts of python and um, you should also be covering uh, various basic syntaxes of python like conditionals and looping statements and basic functions of python and some important libraries of python so this is these are the important concepts what you have to be covering over python and also one of the most important topic you should be covering is data structures of python so actually python has few data structures like uh, lists tuples and dictionaries so these three are the data structures of python which are quite different from other programming languages so these are the three parts that uh, you should be covering the most so one more important part is op concepts of python so actually uh, if you see python programming language the op no is not being great importance while well, you write a normal code so python can be implemented both uh, as a procedural language as a, and as an object oriented language so uh, the, but for the certification exam for the first uh, first part of the certification exam you should be knowing the op concepts of python and this part is most important so op concepts are, you should be giving more importance to it because most of the questions will cover with uh, op concepts of python so you should be having a thorough knowledge of op concepts of python so next one is sql so sequential query language is also one of the most important part where we will be asked to know about the various uh, types of queries in it and various ways of writing queries and also you should also be having knowledge of various joins and so on so uh, you should also be having some these all this uh, basic knowledge about sequential query language so these are the three parts in which uh, you will be certified by the infosys in the first phase so actually um, uh, coming to choose the correct answers part this is just accounting for 30 marks so coming to the second part of uh, certification exam in the second part uh, you will be having the programming questions so coming to the programming questions uh, they will be given you three two programming questions and uh, these two programming questions will account for 70 marks and uh, this there might be 30 plus 40 marks sort of questions and 35 plus 35 sort of two questions and uh, these two out of these two questions one question will be on general programming concept which will test your logic your ability to solve the problem and second programming question will be on some um, hard concepts of programming like um, uh, data uh, like uh, dynamic programming greedy approach back tracking so on so you should be able to perfect in some uh, more complex parts of uh, programming so this is the uh, most important point to note here is these questions can be solved only in python so this uh, infosys platform will allow you to solve questions only in python and no other programming language will be allowed 
so uh, you should be having a thorough knowledge of python so this info is for attending this certification info this certification examination you should be having the best knowledge of python because in the choose the correct answers part you will be having python and this part in programming questions also you will be having python so you should be learning python very well so actually uh, this um, programming part you should be able to solve both the questions because we see many people solving one question and uh, just attempting the second question is not being uh, asked to attend the second round of interview so uh, you should be able to solve both the questions or at least you should be able to solve complete first question and that means 100% of first question and at least 65% of second question so those are the things that are to be remembered so for learning python or op concepts or sql infitq app is a best resource actually infitq app provides all the resources to learn uh, the concepts that are required for the infosys certification exam so open the infitq app and you will find the various modules there so you you can see uh, the sql module you can see python module you can see uh, data structures module so you should be uh, able to get thorough knowledge of all over it and you should be having uh, some uh, practice quizzes so on so be perfect in all those things the so try to get at least 65% of second question and 100% of first question uh, to be so one more important part uh, that uh, you should be noting is uh, you, after you clear uh, after you complete the interview you will be asked to wait for it so actually results will be coming out in just 2 hours and you will be sent a mail whether uh, you had got selected or not so actually you will be sending the marks what you have got and if you get marks above 65 then you will be called out for the second round that is interview so actually uh, on the same day uh, within 2 to 3 hours of time you will be called out for interview after completion of your certification exam so coming to this interview this is one of the most easiest interview that you will be ever facing because this interview will be consisting of only HR round there is no any technical round so actually in this HR round one of the most important point that you should be noting is you should be having your basic knowledge of your academic project so because uh, though this is a HR round, uh, interviewer will expect you to have uh, basic knowledge of your uh, academic project and uh, they will ask you to explain your academic project. So your explanation should be in such a way that it will impress the interviewer that you have good communication skills and you can, uh, you can uh, express your thoughts uh, very effectively. So and um, coming to one of the more another point is uh, they will ask you just uh, basic HR questions. So there, are, there is no need for any complex managerial questions or so on. So you should be able to prepare basic HR questions like tell me about yourself and uh, uh, about your qualities and justification of your qualities and your family, your education and so on. So those are the things that you have to be preparing for interview of this InfiTQ. So actually, uh, as this, this is one of the most important uh, topic, um, important uh, interview process actually Infosys will also be giving you chance to be getting um, ready for uh, a package above 5 lakhs so once you have got in uh, for this Infosys certification exam after the completion of interview for uh, 3.5 lakhs or so what they are offering through this they will be asked to write one more exam actually for that exam still the dates or the process hasn't been announced so they said that they will be asked to write one more examination where uh, the people who excel in that examination will be getting packages for above 5 lakhs so actually this is also one of the uh, one of the best way to be getting entered into infosys so i recommend you all to prepare very well for this because this is one of the most easiest one because they will give you material and they will uh, give if you are good in programming that's enough that's enough to be uh, clearing this uh, interview process so actually the uh, interview pro uh, actually second round of interview is also very easy so uh, this is where one of the very easiest interview that you will be ever facing. So that's it from the Infosys uh, certification exam and Infosys recruitment process. So I thank you all for watching this video and I request you all to like this video and share this video with your friends so that more number of people will be getting uh, exposed to this uh, Infosys certification exam and I request you all to subscribe this video and uh, I thank you once again for watching the video and bye bye.